All right, let's talk. Let's talk. Okay, I have to give it. Okay, first of all, let me say hi. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you. I'm glad to meet you. Glad to re-meet you. Glad to be with you again. Enjoying seeing you. Mwah. I love you. Yes, I do, because you mean the world to me. Um, I want to talk about um, some products, okay? I want to talk about some products because I have realized that now since I've cut my hair short, there's some lessons that I've learned. There's going to be a video on it. Lessons I've learned since my big chop. Um, and I really, really have to, you know, I really, really do have to um, just kind of really confess that I have purchased so many more products since my hair has been short. I done lost my mind. I done lost my dog on my buying products. It's a hot making it mess. Jeez, that brand, the amount of products that I have purchased since I cut my hair. But I digress. I bring it on in. Okay, um, but what I want to talk about is um, basically um, African pride. Now, I have never been a big African, like when their perms came out, <coughs> excuse me, I haven't coughed all day. This always happens. Nothing with the devil, but it's all right. Okay, um, African product, when their relaxer came out, I was never a big fan because I heard that the company was really not, you know, was not created by or, you know, run by black people. So, okay. Um, so, basically, um, you know, I never cared for any of their products. The ones that I did try, they didn't do anything for me or didn't do much for me. So, you know, I just kind of aired on the side of caution and just left them alone. Didn't talk about them, didn't make bad about them or anything like that. I just didn't use them because they didn't really work that well for me. <coughs> so, <coughs> let's fast forward to 2013. I have gone natural. All right, so now African Pride has come out with a new line of products for natural hair. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm telling you right now. They have a, they have um, the olive oil miracle line. Okay, and as you can see, I have, eat, I just have torn this up. The olive oil miracle line, and then they have the shea butter miracle line. Okay, let's talk about it. Number one, um, when I cut my hair the first time, uh, and I talked to you guys about it. I was like, okay, all right, you know. I had, you know, I was really happy about what the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Curl Activator had done for me. And in the midst of using that, every time I used that, I always used it with this leave-in conditioner. I have come to realize that this leave-in conditioner right here, you want this in your life. This right here, it didn't leave white balls. It didn't leave white flakes. It penetrated, it softened, it shine, shine, yeah, shine. You want shine? Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This right here, I said, all right, olive oil miracle leave in conditioner, anti breakage formula. Now, I'm gonna tell you, um, putting this in my head and weigh it down. <laughs> It works. You can put this on wet or dry hair. It works. I have to say, African Pride, thank you. This is really good stuff. It's really good stuff. I try really hard not to just, you know, but when, when it comes to leave-in conditioners, I just can't help it. I can't help it. I got to get them. This right here is a good product. I like the way that it penetrates. It doesn't sit on my hair. It doesn't leave it white. And even if it does, well, actually sometimes because now that now that my hair is short, I have a problem with uh, measuring how much product I should use at a time. Hot mess. Yeah, it's kind of hard to remember that I don't need to take a glob like this anymore. I don't have that much hair anymore. God, where's your hair? Yeah, oh my God, get my hair. Yeah. So I don't really need that much, but this right here, you don't need a lot. It penetrates. It stays with you all day. It is really good. I like this product. It's um, African Pride Olive Miracle Anti Breakage Formula Leave-In Conditioner. No, it is not a natural product. It wasn't expensive. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I didn't mind. Whatever I paid for it, I didn't mind. It wasn't expensive. Um, I don't think it was more than seven dollars. It was. It was very affordable. I was glad to purchase it because. Um, it was new and it was creamy. It was a creamy, you know, creamy leave-in conditioner. And I liked it, so I tried it. But this right here, the Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curls Pudding. 
This right here, this product right here, this right here, right here. This is the reason my hair looks the way it looks today. This, yeah, this is this is why. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Um, this works. <laughs> this, 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 African pride, thank y'all. I'm gonna tell you right now, this product works. Um, I put this in my hair now almost every day. I realize that now since my hair is short, I really don't need to use um, a lot of gel all the time because it takes a long time for it to dry. You know, it takes time for it to dry. And the weather's starting to change. And I realize that because my hair is so short, I really don't need gel because I'm not really looking for elongation. And, you know, usually that's, you know, what I use the gel for. Definition and elongation. But you can also get the definition from, you know, these types of curly puddings and souffles and things like that. So I said, okay, all right, here we go. All right. So I decided to try it. And I'm going to tell you, lo and behold, my hair is extremely soft. It's not crunchy. It's not hard. Um, I'm going to tell you what my routine was. I, um, oh gosh, it's so much I have to tell you. But um, I co-washed with Giovanni's Rue 66 Max Volume. I bought this in TJ Max. Yes, I did. Um, and I use this for, you know, it says for limp, lifeless hair. But I, I use this as my co-wash. And then um, after I co-wash, I condition with G Giovanni's um, Smooth as Silk Deep Moisture Conditioner. And I'm going to do reviews on the D Giovanni products that I've been using. Um, then <laughs> I spray my, uh, I spray this, the Elastic QP Olive Oil Mango Butter Leave-In H2 Conditioner. I love the way it smells. You smell good. I'm going to do some reviews on these, I promise. Um, and then I use this right here. Giovanni's direct leave-in. This is my new best friend. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I got so many new products. I have. I don't have a chance to really review them all. So then after I put all this stuff in my hair, I use this. Um, sometimes I'll use this if, if I'm not using this. But this right here, I will put this in and it's amazing. Not just that, but I can put this on like the next day or two or three days later and it just, it just melts right in. It melts right in in i'm telling you right now the shea butter miracle moisture intense bouncing curls pudding this right here is some good stuff you might want to try it it left my hair very soft very shiny same thing i would expect as far as like you know i don't i don't really want my hair to be quite as wet anymore because it's so short i don't need that i don't need it i don't, I don't need it i don't need it so that's what i'm using but i really wanted to put the emphasis i really wanted to really really put the emphasis on this right here so this right here, this is what's in my hair right now. And I just kind of bring my hair forward. I shake it. I do all that stuff while it's wet. And, you know, it's just different now. You can see my little thong spots right here. But, of course, you know, because I can't stop cutting my hair, that's why you can see it so much. And that's my own fault. But it's okay. It's going to come back. Um, so I had to share that with you. This right here is some good stuff. Get you some African pride. Yeah, I need to write a jingle. <laughs> Right at Django. Okay, so anyway, um, as far as my last video was concerned, I just want to say thank you to all of you who sent your well wishes to, um, uh, you know, regarding my mother. I just wanted to just clarify something real quick. My mother is cancer free. Okay, and that is uh, spiritually and physically. She is cancer free. So I really do want to thank you, you know, and I thank God, you know, for healing her and for keeping her. She definitely is cancer free at this point. Um, I know God. I know how to pray for my mother. I know how to cover her with the blood of Jesus. So I'm not worried about her. She is fine. She thanks you for your prayers. Um, I'm going to do a video with her the next time she comes to visit me. We're going to talk about it. And, you know, she's going to let you know what's going on with her. She's she, she going to check in. Mama going to check in. Um, but you should see her. She's so cute. She got a TWA. She's so cute. But thank you so much for your prayers. They are much appreciated. People do not have to be concerned about you in your life. Um, and I really do appreciate that. So, you know, thank you so much. It really means the world to me that you would even think enough. You know, even though, that you know, I did talk about it, you know, briefly. I do appreciate the fact that you did hear me and that you did understand. And if there's anyone else who is dealing with that same issue, if you have a loved one who is dealing with cancer, listen, this is not my first rodeo. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not my first rodeo, but I will tell you that it pays to know God in the midst of a situation like this. It pays to know God when somebody in your family is sick. It pays to have a relationship with him because you don't worry. You have hope in the midst of the sickness. You have hope in the midst of the surgeries and all of the treatments and things like that. You have hope because you have the, your hope is in Jesus Christ. Your hope is in God. So because you have hope in him, you're not hopeless. Ah, 
Your hope is in him. We hope in him. That's where our hope and our faith and our trust is. So if my hope and my faith and my trust is in him, I'm not worried about what the doctors say or what the treatments say or whatever. I'm concerned with what God says. So for any of you who are dealing with this, and I know it's not easy. I know it's very hard. I know that it's very time consuming. It's tiring. It's annoying. It's sad. Um, it can take all your strength from you, but I just want you to know, continue to pray. Get closer to God and he will give you the strength to deal with it. I'm telling you, don't ever try to go through a situation like this without a relationship with him because you will not make it. You will lean to your own understanding and you will mess things up. I'm telling you that right now. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. That is. Well, with that being said, I just want you to be encouraged in that. Um, I have reached 5,000 subscribers. Oh my God, I have reached more than 5,000 subscribers. When I checked and I saw that I had passed, I didn't even get to the place where I saw who the 5,000 subscriber was. I was so elated and overjoyed. It just means the world to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't have to come. You don't have to watch my videos. You don't have to be a part of who I am. But I thank you. I thank God for you so much. And I pray that something that I've said or done has been a blessing to you. I really do. This journey has been an, an amazing one. I plan to keep on going and keep on pressing. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um... So that's, you know, basically all for tonight. My next few videos, I'm going to be reviewing some products, but I'm definitely going to do my giveaway. Me and the cameraman are working on something special, so please just be patient. But I promise you, our 5K giveaway extravaganza is coming. It is coming. I promise. I'm so excited about it. I just want to be able to give back. I wish I could do more, but I'm just giving back. Um, we're going to come up with something, and hopefully you will all be able to participate, and everyone will get a fair shot. Um, thank you again. I love you. I don't have to know you to love you, but I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. And I just want you to please be a blessing to somebody else. Um, let God bless you. Let God love you. Forgive somebody today. Don't hold on to the forgiveness and the anger and the bitterness. As Bishop Jake says, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It's not going to happen. I love you with the love of Jesus. And I pray that you are blessed and that you keep it moving forward. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Love you. See you later.